Hello Taurus, getting ready to do your reading. Hope you guys are doing fabulous. All right, let's see what's going on for Taurus. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. What is going on for Taurus universe? What is going on for Taurus? Thank you. All right, oh, I pulled two, so I'm gonna take them together. Oh, the moon with the knight of coins, Taurus. Overall energy, it might be a Pisces or another earth sign involved, but this could be an offer, uh, something coming to you that you don't see. It can be work or love or a gift. This is interesting. Could also be someone thinking about you with the motion. I, I read the moon cards like deep emotions. Um, and then, you know, the knight of coins in the other deck, he stopped, he's looking back. He's not moving forward. So someone could also be thinking about you. So we'll have to see. Uh, what that this is about because under the deck four of coins is somebody hey oh my gosh and I think it's someone oh my goodness someone's reminiscing about the way things were the way things could be they're not moving forward you could have been in a relationship with them I don't, I don't want to go back too far they may view you as empress energy wanting a new beginning I think this is you too right there yeah that is you I mean, this is, I don't like to say things like this already, but I'm going to throw it out there because maybe they do want to have a relationship with you, a commitment, and maybe even children, the Empress is here. But um, yeah, I can see that right there. Or maybe you guys were together and they're thinking about the past and how things were. Okay. All right. But it, what is this person thinking or feeling? What are they doing? Thinking, feeling, doing. We have the world energy, a new beginning, and the... Terrifons. Okay, so they're thinking about a new beginning with you. What is hidden? They're not moving forward. Potential outcome. I pulled two again. Two, two twos. Two of wands and the two of coins. Making a decision. Okay. Under the deck is that Empress energy. So what is this? Okay, I'm going to go already to my... I'm going to go to some hidden truth cards. And... I'm actually going to do the message of love. Let's go to these now and see what's on this person's mind. Decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. So, yeah, that's the twos here. What does this person want to say? I bury myself in work to forget about you. I wish I could share my good news with you. Okay. And I want to feel that way again. I have trouble with intimacy. They may have a wall up around them. Maybe that's Eight of Swords at this, in this reading, possibly. Isn't that interesting, though? So that might be what is going on in this connection. Maybe you didn't know that. But um, do I still have a chance? Do they want to know? Do they still have a chance with you? And I daydream about a life with you. Interesting. Saying I do love you. All right. So, so I feel like there is someone here full of regret. All right. What is this moon energy and the knight of coins? What is this moon energy? Let's see. So they want to start a new cycle. They want to reach out to you. Again, we have the uh, two of wands and the, you know, world here again. So a new cycle, wanting to start a new cycle, needing to make a decision. Ace of wands, there you are, and the six of coins. So wanting to buy you something, give you something with the six of coins. One more for the six of coins. Take you out manifesting, okay. Oh wow, so this person feels like they are your emperor. So maybe this person has made some changes possibly if they're coming in as emperor. I mean, if they're not an Aries and maybe you don't normally see them as an emperor energy, maybe they have made changes, they wanna come in and take control. Basically, they wanna know the outcome, the answer. What is happening here between the two of you? Do they have a chance? You know, is, they're tired of feeling stuck. They're tired of reminiscing about going over the past, about feeling, you know, very emotional about the situation. What is the hair font, please? The Knight of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Sun. Okay, so this is like pure happiness and joy. This is about being in a relationship with you and just being as happy as one could get with the Sun and the Three of Cups. What is this Eight of Swords? Now, this is what's hidden. So, the King of Swords, the Eight of Coins, the Seven of Wands. Well, that's interesting because this is the energy of where they said they bury themselves in work or whatever they're burying themselves in, that's exactly what this is. I read the Seven of Wands as someone's like very secretive. Don't come in here, I'm blocking my door, you can't see what I'm doing. Eight of Swords, they're stuck, they're focused on work. Interesting. So you don't know this. They think about you maybe day and night, they think about you while they're at their job, they think about you when they're at home, 
They may, I'm seeing them sitting in kind of a darker office. It looks like a home office, but drinking something, having it like a nightcap or something and thinking about this still, it's like it really, okay. So this must be why I'm seeing them sit there. They're sitting there making this decision here. What do I do? Yes or no? So let's see what's happening here. Oh no, let me do one more. So do they let ego and pride get in the way? Or do they go ahead and pull the trigger and, and give you an offer, communicate with you, and you possibly tell them no? Maybe there's already been some communication with in the past or just you're just gonna tell them no. So they're still thinking temperance card. Under the deck is a page of swords, so we know that they're spying on you right now. Show me one more card though for the uh, devil energy. What does this devil energy represent for them? Moving on. Oh, lovers. But so this devil energy is kind of like this eight of swords energy being stuck. I always sometimes feel like it's being stuck in a spider web. You know, like when a fly gets trapped and it can't get out. It's like being stuck in their own thoughts, needing to move forward. So this person is, it doesn't necessarily mean it's ego. It could be that they're stuck in indecision and they need to move on from that. They need to get out of it. Or they need to let this go completely, decide to, to, Forget about the two of you, what you guys had, and just let it, you know, because the chariot, that's the chariot, right? Letting it all go. You're done. You're moving on. You're moving forward. Well, is this person going to pull the trigger? Because it looks like they haven't really made up their mind in your reading. They have to decide what exactly they want to do. Sometimes people don't want to know the final answer. If you say, no, we're done, I will never take you back. It's almost like they'd rather not know that or hear that. Advice, please. Okay, so this person, let's see. Okay, no, it's them. Yeah, they're hermiting, right? They're holding back and they're spying. It's not really advice, but um, it is what's going on. Seven of Cups. So they haven't made up their mind. They have different ideas of what they could do or say or decisions. Seven of Cups, one more. Seven of Wands, this person may be aggressive or getting aggressive. Again, we have the Seven of Wands, both of these decks. Uh, this sometimes shows me a person who, again, may be very, you know, they get agitated easy. They get angry at their coworkers or family members or things like that. They don't want to answer questions if people are wondering, like, what's going on with you? So this person, because there's that Two of Wands, they need to make a decision because they are stuck in this energy of, I mean, it's like sadness, it's indecision, it's maybe even like feeling, they're saying lonely, Justice. But again, they maybe they're there for a reason because of past actions, past choices. This is just how it's supposed to be. That's what Justice tells me for now. But all right, so I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Have a great week.